Welcome back to a bit gamey and a quick review of the Warlord Games Rat Powder Marbles Wars Plastics. So the aim here is um, I was getting two armies for a kind of um, one hour war games um, sides and I thought I'd try in my total general way of wanting to try everything. I started off with these uh, Warlord plastic figures. So anyway, so the Cavalry of the Grand Knights, you get, there's a, a French box and a um, Cavalry of the Grand Alliance box. I think the um, the figures are all the same. The differences are, you know, you get your nice little, um, little insert with um, painting suggestions, some, uh, some flags, I'm not entirely sure how they go on with the Cavalry. And uh, oh, inside, if I can get it open, do do do, yeah, just a an idea of what the different pieces are for. So that's that. You get that. You get some um, some bases, fifty more bases, which is um, useful for me. That's the main reason I made the um, my in infantry bases fifty mil, is uh, so they can match up with the cavalry. OCD. Um, get three sprues of four horses each, um, which are um, nice enough. But the um, an important point to note is that there's like a two standing horses and two um, running horses. So um, it's really uh, if, if you separate them into two lots of six, which, which I'm doing. There's only two poses on the uh, fruit six horses. But yeah, not the end of the world. The um the sprue for the riders, three riders uh, per sprue, four sprues. Um don't know if it's how well that's easy to see. But um a bunch of uh, grenadier heads, curatia heads and uh Sort of standard cavalry heads. Um, whereas weapons, the bodies to say there's there's a sort of standard cavalry bodies uh, and some uh, curator bodies as well. Lots of um, uh, muskets, swords, pistols. You know, it's pretty good in terms of of, of the variety. You can make um, make them into whatever unit you want. I'm going to have two units of six, so um, uh, yeah. And for the Allied side, or for the British side, Brit well, British, Dutch, whatever, probably more like more sensible to have them as standard cavalry and uh, dragoons. But so I just did, I just did a couple of examples of um, what they look like with the uh, with a wash on, just to show up whatever the, the detail. Nice horses, nice horses. The uh, I say I, I probably was a mistake doing one up as a curatia, um, for reasons which, uh, whatever. I should have probably done them as a standard cavalry and as a dragoon. But anyway, it doesn't matter. I'll probably uh, get another box and do um, do the different ones. Well, probably I say I might, I might get another box and do them different ones. Uh, yeah, so you know, nice enough. You know, then oh, we can see. You know, they're um, they're cheap, so I assume that their um, sculpts road or something, sculpts are old or something. So I can try. <laughs> messing this up, but um, yeah, I don't know. I I, I quite like them. There's um. There's definitely a better quality miniatures out there, but if you're on a budget or you're planning to get loads, or like me, you're experimenting, um, I think they're pretty good. Definitely okay anyway. So, so that's the cavalry. Yeah, it's got 12 figures, um, and you know, don't want to make a. Well, in mind, I'm going to make two two groups of six because of the small scale for my um, three foot table. But yeah. They, do for me. Then there's the artillery battery. You get three um, guns in the in the box um, with you know bases, 
and uh, a little guide, painting guide, and a uh, little construction bit at the top, and uh, you know a, li a list of labels of what all the different parts go. You make them into a twelve pounder gun or a eight pounder gun. Sprue itself. Do do do. Sprue itself. Blah blah blah. So yeah. So the, the barrels for the eight or twelve pound gun. Uh, the structure for the for the cannon itself and four crew figures and you know some accessories like um, buckets and uh, gabions and uh, cannonballs and such. That's all rather cool. And there's also a, a horseman, kind of general figure. Uh, do do. So there's a general figure. See it? Again, I put I just put um I just primed it and put a wash over it. So that's a general figure from the um artillery set. So I just primed it and put a wash over it to um uh bring out the details. Um yeah. Nice little addition to the thing. The gun itself. With four crew. Random floppy hats, various implements. Um I don't know if I you can see them. Nice enough. So yeah, pretty good. Gun. Quite a chunky one. Eight pounder. Do do do. Or the two, I don't know where the twelve pound gun is, but there's a twelve pound gun for that as well. Um, anything more for that? No, I think that's it for the. Uh, artillery and then for the infantry there's two separate boxes there's the infantry of the sun king and infantry of the grand alliance as far as i can tell they use the same um same figures just of a, a different uh sheet for infantry sun king you know that's got the uh uniforms for the french units and uh and various allied allies like bavaria and um Wild geese, sort of thing. And then the infantry, the Grand Alliance, which has got um, Hessians, Dutch, Austrians, and British. Uh, yeah, painting sessions. Um, sheet there, what all the parts do, and the various flags of which I've uh, done two so far. And uh, flags for the French. I'm quite tempted to um, do the. So I, I used the two boxes for the for the um, for the uh, Grand Alliance. But I'm quite tempted to get another box just to do these um, just to do these flags. Which I suppose is a good sign. Um, they come with you know standard, oops, standard sort of 40 mil bases, which you know, I'm not using. I'm using the uh, 50 mil ones. But um, they'll come in handy for my um, World War Two 20 mils. So that's all good. The sprue for the infantry looks like this. So you get um, 66910 kind of infantry figures. You know, standard sort of like marching along. And you get two sets of feet for... Um, for your command for your command figures there's a, there's a total of five i think it's five bodies to go on those two sets of legs so you've got spare if you need them to um to try and kit bash because there, there's there's 24 figures in the box and if you're doing like me with two two lots of 12 then um, you need more command figures and um 
it may be possible to kit bash them from the spare parts on um, on here. I haven't tried it yet, but you know, so I might end up doing that. There's a flagpole there, a uh, drum somewhere. What else? And you know, pistols, swords pointing. Um, the large number of heads on here for your figures. Um, I don't know enough about the period to know if it's uh, you know, what the differences are. So I mostly just use the standard one, standard sort of tricorn hat. They got some uh, grenadier hat heads, and I don't know, there's there's all sorts of heads, um, of which you know, whatever, blah blah blah. So the end result of those sprues, let's see if that's uh, if that focuses or not, um, is these guys here. I say I've um, did the same thing. I, I primed them and then just did a a wash on them to sort of show the level of detail and such. Um, so you know, it's I would say okay, or you know, good to okay. Well, I'd say good. However. The um, and obviously you know it's, it's ten poses that are the same, and then there's a few poses for the uh, command figures, but you know it's uh, fairly limited. But I say, I mean, I think that's quite good. However, if you want to compare them to, because I, I I was doing it that you, know, you could probably kit bash a second set of command figures out of the um, out of the sprue. But what I was doing, I, I had the figures for five units, and um, then I was going to buy three sets of uh, other command figures, metal figures from other, to try them out. And I don't know, if you can see, see the quality of the um, those command figures, the metal command figures. These four are from um, front rank. And you can see that there's definitely a, a gap in the quality or a jump in the quality um, again these are just primed and um, with a wash just to show the uh, the detail and uh, you know these these figures are just you know fantastic looking you know sort of uh, what is that there, there it is no it's just uh, you know that that great wig you know, all the detail on the coat. You know, these are just um, these are great. Uh, but you know, <clears throat> the thing is, the uh, these ones, these nice uh, front rank metal ones. I think they're like one pound forty each. Whereas the um, the plastic water ones are like uh, you know, you get them for fourteen, fifteen quid for the box. That makes it about I don't know seventy p for a figure. So roughly these are, you know, twice the price of the plastic ones. But, you know, is it worth it? Yes, I'd say it is worth it, really. I mean, they're just great. Uh, personally, I, I like these. I like the plastic ones. I don't have a problem with the fact, because, um, you know, I mean, I'll, I'll be getting other metal ones as well. I just like, you know, I just like them. But, you know, obviously these metal ones are um, are in a different league. So yeah, so I was saying these metal ones are like one pound forty each, and these plastic ones are like seventy p each or eighty p something like that. Um, so you know, it's I think both are worth it. That's my that's my main point. I say these um these metal ones are in the you know in a in a different league, and so they're worth one pound forty each. I think, and but the um you know the run on the mill plastic ones, I think uh, are worth what you know what they cost seventy eighty p whatever it is. So I'm I'm quite happy with that. Um, I need to get a smaller command command bases for these um, ones that are left. But yeah, I mean I think I I like both basically is what I'm saying. You know, there's definitely a difference in quality, no doubt. But um, I think there's I think I don't know I just I I like I like both really. I was never really into this period. Before. It's always in the Ponyonics, but I do quite like the um, I, I just like the whole wig, the whole wiggy thing appeals. 
So yeah, so I so, say so I'd, I'd recommend. I think they're good. I mean, or they're, they're good value. Let's put it that way. Well, no, they're, they're good and good value. I would say um, they're not as not as good as some of the metals, obviously. But um, you know, it's a balance, really. If you're, um, you know, if you want to get loads or you want a budget or it's just it's a trial period or whatever else, you know, other reason you might have, I think the plastics are worth it. But if you've got the cash. Then the metals are better, or at least the front rank one, front rank one, front rank ones are. Um, what's anything else? Uh, I don't think so. I can look to the clip. Uh, and last thing was a couple of things I forgot to mention, which is um, one of the things about if you've got um, really nice figures is, and you're not a very good painter, you know, there's a limit to how good you can make them look. And so, you know, it, it can be a bit of a waste, really, if you've got some really fancy figures and all you can do is an average paint job. Then it's going to look average. Um, but at the same time, you know, the better the figures are, the more you push yourself to um, do a good job with the painting. So you take more time on it, learn a few things, you know, practice a bit more, learn a few things along the way. So it's, it's an argument either way, I think. I think, uh, you know, a compromise is... Uh, you know, either have a bit of both, um, you know, some really nice figures along with some average ones, or you know, have really nice figures and just you know, take your time. You know, you might you know, take your you know, paint a unit at a time, and it's going to take you ages to finish. Um, but you know, at the end of the day, you'll probably make yourself better. You, know, you become a better painter, maybe the better the figures are to start with. So anyway, that's just a guess, who knows. Um, but yeah, that's my review of the um, Warlord Plastics. Um, I could take two a little bit.